Hey everybody, it's Josh, the service manager at Walnut Ridge RV. I want to talk about LP regulators today. Sometimes we get some confusion on how they operate and what actually everything means on the regulator. For instance, the indicator here. So the way this regulator is designed, this is an automatic changeover regulator. So right now we have a lever, and it, you can it's, it's probably going to be hard to see in the video, but it's it's got a, the word supply on there, and it's pointing which way. So right now we have that uh, arrow pointing towards this tank. So we're saying that we want this tank to be our main supply tank. So what's going to happen when we turn this supply tank on, and it's going to show that there is gas pressure in here, after a few seconds that'll go completely green. So we know that we have gas pressure in here. Now that's not a, a gauge to indicate how much is in there. All that's telling you is there's gas that is putting pressure in the regulator from this side. So we know that there is LP present. The way these are designed to work, it's going to pull off of this tank because we have it pointing to this side first. That's its initial draw. But we can actually turn both tanks on and what's going to happen if in the middle of the night you're running your furnace or something and your LP runs out of this tank, as long as they're both on, this regulator is designed to automatically pull off the other side. However, the indicator is going to go to red instead of green to let you know that the supply tank has no gas pressure anymore. So basically it's kind of working like a gauge at that point to tell you this tank's empty. If that's going to happen, you know you have gas in this tank, you can come out, select a, uh, put the selector over to this tank, and now we can take this tank off and go have it filled. Now, I wouldn't suggest leaving both tanks on very long because it eventually can back uh, flow out and, and start leaking gas out. So, so really you just want to shut everything down. But take this tank, have it filled. Now we're set on, on this tank as a supply. It's going to work the same way. When that goes to red, we know that's empty. We can switch it over to this tank. One thing to remember though, when you're running it like this and you have both tanks open, when it switches from the supply tank to the reserve tank, but this lever is still selected on the empty tank, you actually have a slight loss in BTUs uh, coming out of that tank. So what you would normally get to power your furnace, it's going to drop. And I'm not sure the exact uh, amount they drop. I think it varies on different regulators because you have different uh, sizes of regulators. You can have a, a high flow regulator for units that may have a generator or something that runs off of LP. This one's just going to be your standard regulator. It's got just your standard appliances and water heater. Um, so you want to keep that in mind. You don't want to always run it off of the wrong tank because you're actually going to get a little bit less gas pressure. So you may notice a slight drop in your stove when you're cooking because uh, your burner's maybe not as high as you're uh, used to seeing it. And that's because we're pulling off of that reserve tank, so to speak. And so that's just something to keep in mind on regulators. They, they don't all look like this. They've, they've kind of changed the design over the years. Some of them have a dial that spins, um, but they most regulators will have that indicator and that's what that's there for just to let you know if, if something has ran out of gas.